The New York Trout Stream Fishing Map provides trout stream anglers with one-stop shopping to find the information necessary to plan their trips, including finding their preferred trout stream angling experience, public stream access, stocking information, and regulations. The map is made of several layers on DEC Info Locator, an interactive map that lets you access DEC documents and public data. To start using the trout stream fishing information on DEC Info Locator, you need to activate several map layers. Under the DEC Information Layer section, select the Outdoor Activity tab, then the Water Related Activities tab. Activate the Inland Trout Stream Fishing and Trout Stream Fishing Access layers by clicking on the small box in the legend next to the layer name. If you plan to use a boat, activate the Boat Launch Sites layer. For additional access opportunities, activate the DEC Lands and Parking layers under the Land Related Activities tab. You may need to zoom in or out to view certain layers. In the legend, a layer name may be grayed out with a note to zoom in or out to activate layer. There are several ways to zoom on the map. You can use the zoom buttons, use the scroll wheel on your mouse, hold the shift key while left clicking your mouse to draw a rectangle for the map to focus on, or click the zoom to option in the pop-up windows that accompany map layers. To view different areas of the map, hover over the map with your mouse pointer, left click and hold. You can then move the map by moving your mouse. Categorized trout stream reaches are displayed on the map color-coded by management category. A reach is a defined segment of stream. The categories are based on how the reaches are managed and help anglers find the trout fishing experience they desire. Click on a reach to get a pop-up window that provides the stream name, reach description, which is where the reach starts and ends, management category, trout fishing regulations, total number of stock fish, species stock, and stocking schedule information for that reach. If the reach is not stocked, the total number of fish will say not stocked. Click the X in the upper right hand corner of the pop-up window to close it. Stocked reaches, shown as red lines, are stocked once a year in the spring and are managed to provide short-term opportunities to catch and harvest trout. Stocked extended reaches, shown as purple lines, are managed by a combination of four stockings, once every two weeks in the spring and have more restrictive regulations than stock reaches, providing an extended opportunity to catch stock trout. Wild quality reaches, shown as orange lines, support an abundance of wild trout and provide a quality wild trout fishing experience. Wild premier reaches, shown as green lines, are New York's most productive large wild trout streams. They provide an exceptional wild trout fishing experience with the potential to catch a trophy sized wild trout. Reaches in the other category, shown as black lines, are wild or uncategorized reaches that have a wild trout population but don't meet wild quality or wild premier criteria. The trout stream map currently only shows other reaches that have a catch and release special regulation. Wild reaches are not currently available on DEC Info Locator. We anticipate wild reaches to be available on the map by April 1st of 2022. Reaches highlighted in yellow noted as additional regulations apply in the legend, are reaches that have different trout fishing regulations from the standard management category regulation. More information on New York Trout Stream Management can be found on DEC's website. The Trout Stream Fishing Access layer has two parts. Stream access, shown as pink polygons, and parking areas, shown with this parking icon. Click on a stream access area or parking icon in the map to get a pop-up box that provides the stream name and access type. Mapped access areas are included to aid anglers in finding stream access and are exaggerated to make them more visible on the map. Click on the link to view our Trout Stream User Guide webpage for more information. If you activated the Boat Launch Sites layer or the DEC Lands and Parking layers as mentioned earlier, you can click on features from those layers as well. If you click on a feature that has multiple active features near it, you may see an arrow in the pop-up window title bar. Use the arrow to scroll through the pop-up windows of nearby features until you get the one you want. Note that the County Boundary Reference layer is always active by default, though you can turn it off in the Reference Layers tab in the legend. If you'd like to print a map, zoom to an area of the map with the layers you would like to see active. Under the Tools tab, click on the Printer icon. Type in a title and author information if desired. Click Generate Map. A new tab will open with a map that you can save and or print. 
Unfortunately, information in pop-up windows will not display. X out of the new tab when finished and go back to your original map tab on your browser. For additional information about map layers, click on Layer Information in the legend. This will take you to the DEC Info Locator Layer Descriptions webpage. To see other tips for using the map, click on the question mark icon in the upper right corner. While this map works on mobile devices, a more mobile optimized version will be available in the future. A mobile help document is available on the main DEC Info Locator webpage if needed. If you notice any problems with data or need additional help using the map, click on the question mark icon to email us with a detailed description of your observation or question.